we're too much on the labels these days. You know, we've got simps and pickneys. And I, I was on a conversation about my marriage at one point. And I talked about how my husband had four kids and he had just gotten divorced. So his finances were crazy. And I had no debt, no kids, no problems. Had money in the bank and I married him. And, and someone called me a pickme because I didn't get a high value man or didn't engage in hypergamy. And then once we got married, uh, instead of him setting the purpose and the dream, he realized that, man, her purpose and her dream is going to gonna get both of us further. So he practically shut down his shop to help me become a judge. And then he, then he went across the country to help to allow me to be on TV and dropped his practice. So, yeah, maybe I, I was a pick me and maybe he's a, he's a simp. But given the way things turned out, I'm simply glad he picked me. And you would be. Oh, man. Judge Lynn Toller said that she was a pygmy. She got with a man with four kids, finances was all over the place. He just got a divorce. And he had to lower his standards. He couldn't get a, 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 a woman like a Holly Berry or a Beyonce. I'm not knocking Judge Lynn Toller at all. So don't go there. Don't talk no smack. Nothing. She is a beautiful woman still in her 60s, close to 70. She, she is a bad looking woman. She is nice looking. So let's not go there. But isn't this what Kevin Samuels used to have what was saying to all of these women? Once you get to a certain point in your life, you gotta start reevaluating. Re now, it ended up working out for the both of them because they both got great, successful careers. But at the point in her in his life, he had to change. She became a pygmy. He became a simp. He had to lower who he really was and who he wanted to be just to get what he wanted out of life. Yeah. Ain't that what Kevin Samuels used to, used to say? Here go Judge Lynn Toller admitting she was a pick me, admitting her husband was a simp, and explaining how the situation came about. Yeah, she said she was she was a pick me and her husband was a simp. Now, here's the thing. She knew she was at a certain point in her life where she had to make a decision on what it is that she wanted to do, how she wanted to get there. Here is a woman who had, uh, I want to say she had three kids. I know her husband has four, but she had three herself, I think. Whatever. But anyway, to go married, a mom, and still had a career. Y'all women today want to get the career first. See, y'all doing it backwards. It's not to say that you can't can't have it all. Nobody's saying that. Well, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is you have to do things in the natural order they were supposed to be in. That's how you're supposed to do it. And Judge Lynn Tola did that. She did that. She Watch any of her divorce court shows. She will say what she did. She got married. She got her career going. She had kids. Come on now. And you're supposed to get a good, stable environment for your kids. You are. Whether you want to depend on your husband, whether you want to uh, be able to uh, 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 get your career going as well, but you're supposed to be able to have a stable environment for your kids, then you have kids. Yeah. I was sent this. I said, "Bam!" Perfect example. What Kevin Samuels used to used to always say. But y'all ladies want to call in all the time. No, I don't have. I know I can still get a good man. No, no, that ain't true. Yes, it is. Listen to what Judge Lynn told us said about her husband. Listen, she said he got a divorce. He had four kids. His finances was all over the place. He became a simp. He had to. He can't come in there, no kid. I mean, he can't come in there acting like he's still the man. He wants a high value woman, a, a, a woman that's of great stature. No, 
Because he's not able to do what he's supposed to do for that woman. So what did he do? He said, damn. Thank you. Once you hit a certain plateau in your life, you have to reevaluate things for yourself. Men understand that. Men try to get that done. Women, y'all want to fight it because somebody's telling you what you have to do. Uh-uh, that ain't true. It is true. It's true. What a Kurt Angle you say? Oh, it's true. It's damn true. <laughs> now, nah, let me stop. I, that was on my mind. Right? Let me stop. But anyway, think about that. Think about that. Once you, ladies, y'all trying to get a man to take care of you and your kids. Your kids. Those are not his kids. If you trying to get with a new guy, let me put it like that first. Let me change that trying to get with a new guy, you want him to take care of you and your kids? Oh, yeah, you're going to have to lower your standards. Because why would a man want to get with you and you have kids? Let's just say you have two. Let's just say you got the you got two. Let's let just put it like that. Why would he want to get with you and two kids where he can get with another lady who has no kids and create his own family instead of coming in with an already made family? Why, what makes you so special? Nothing. So, when you when y'all think when y'all change our mindset, I bet you I bet you doors will start open up for you. Then you got to think. You got to think. Even if you a woman with no kids, a good looking woman with no kids, there's still other good looking women with no kids. It's the same thing with guys. We we know this. We know this. That we have to uh, evaluate ourselves to, to, to get the best possible outcome for, for us. We know that. But women, y'all don't think y'all have to do anything. Y'all just think it's just supposed to happen for you. And like I tell, tell everybody, well, how's that going for you? Explain to me how's that going for you. Judge Lynn Toller from Divorce Court is sitting here telling y'all, yeah, she was a pick me. I'm not going to lie. My situation when I got with my wife was all fucked up. I love her to death that I had to, and I even told her, I had to change a lot of things about myself. I told her, yeah, when I... Yeah, of course, I, when I uh, was younger, I wanted a certain type of woman. Yeah, been through some things, learned a few life lessons. I had to change that. Yeah, I did. I had to change that. Life is the best teacher. Experience is the best teacher. If y'all don't want to do the work, that's on you. That's on you. Oh, my God. Judge Lynn Toller, she said it best. Everybody stuck on labels. I'm not going to lie. At some, some points in my life, I am too. I will admit that. I will. But let me break it down. After me, me and my first wife going through the stuff that I've been through with her, I had a son. Yes. So I come to a relationship with my wife with a son. Do you think I was demanding all of these things from her? No. No, I did not demand a lot of stuff from her. I did not because I knew that I couldn't. Why would she want to get with me? It's the same thing that men tell women. Why would she want to get with me, a man who has a, has a son, potential baby mama drama, put her through a lot of stress and headache, when she can get with another man with no kids? Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? None of that stress and drama. Yeah, I had to evaluate myself and my thought, my, 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 my thought process. Excuse me. Now, don't get me wrong. My wife is beautiful, sexy. She's the type of woman any man would want. Don't get me wrong. Now, but, but I had to 
get out of that mindset of what, it, what I demand this and demand that from a woman, blah, blah, blah. I had to change that. See? Judge Lynn Tola is admitting this stuff. Huh? Get out of here with that. Man. Who we? I know I had to get out of that mindset. See, it's funny. Men know these things. Once we go through life, we know we have to change our mindset on a lot of stuff. Work, relationships, uh, 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 finances, our way of living. I mean, everything. But women don't seem to think they have to do that. Women don't understand. Once you start getting a certain age, okay, put it like this. If you want to get with a man, it's not say that you can't never get a man or blah, blah, blah. Nobody's saying that. But that your chances go down. You know that. That is no secret. You know that. Because men, we are visual. We want a beautiful, sexy, young, young thing. We do. So, what do we, what do a man look for in a woman? Beautiful, sexy, a great body, all that good stuff, right? Right. So, you know, once you get start getting older, your looks start to fade, your, 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 your body start going through certain things, especially y'all women. So, yeah, don't want to hear the BS. Don't want to hear it. Now, men, when we start getting older, yeah, our looks fade too. But women don't mostly don't want to get with us for looks for the most part. Women want to get with a man that is financially stable. And that usually comes with age. That's why us is different from women. But Judge Lynn Tola broke it down. She was a pygmy. Her husband was a simp. But those two got together and made it work. Yeah, you know Judge Lynn Tola because she was on TV. But her husband has, had a great career too. He was a uh, uh, a, dent, no, a dentist or a lawyer. I forgot what she said before. She didn't say it in this particular video, but she said it before on one of her shows when she was on Divorce Court. I forgot what she said her husband was. But anyway, he had a great career. Have, had, whatever. A great career. Now, she knew, I mean, excuse me, he knew and she knew. You had to lower your standards. Yeah, of course, when we're young, we want this. And we ain't selling it for nothing else. But as you get older, you got to start changing. You got to say, wait a minute. I don't want that no more. I want this instead. And you got to make some adjustments. That's just how this thing goes. I know I've been rambling on for a minute, but I just had to put that out there for y'all. We're going to have to, uh, depending on your circumstances, you know, where you're at in your life, you're going to have to make changes. That's just what it is. Think about that.